Hi, I'm Tracy Faulkner from Lush Fabrics with your release for this Sunday. We have another 10 fabrics for you today and they are all about summer. So let's jump in. The first one is a rayon spandex. Rayon spandex is so great for summer. It is a really, really cool fabric to wear. It does have its negatives, um, but its positives are that it is the greatest fabric to wear, I think, um, in summer. So it's the the ones that I've got a couple of t-shirts and a rayon spandex and they're the ones that I reach for on the 40 degree days, so 40 plus degree days. They're really nice to wear. Um, and generally those ones, I tend to put a sleeve on because um, I do wear a lot of stuff without sleeves in summer just because I feel so hot, but I'm happy to wear those ones with the sleeves when they're the rayon spandex or the viscose or the modal and that sort of thing. So they're, they're really nice to wear. This one is called Say Hello in Blue and it's really sweet. It's just a nice simple print. And as I said, really great for a t-shirt, uh, really nice for a little t-shirt dress or something like that. You do need to keep in mind um, the weight of the garment that you're going to make out of this because it doesn't have a huge amount of recovery on its stretch, which means it will get bigger on you during the day if it's too heavy. You can counteract that a little bit by putting some clear elastic in some of your horizontal seams. That gives it a little bit of strength, um, but do keep in mind that it can stretch out if it's too heavy. Okay, so there's your horizontal stretch and your vertical, and there's your drape. This one, I don't have a matching thread, unfortunately, but let's put that over me. There we go. It does look nice with the denim viscose and the off-white modal. There are matches for this one. So that is Say Hello in Blue Rayon Spandex. Now, a rib knit. Love a rib knit. This one is called Will I Ever, and isn't that a beautiful colour? It's so pretty, and then it's got these nice dark pink flowers. They look a bit red when I bring it up close. You can see those ribs there. It's really lovely and soft, and it's a really great fabric for summer. I've got a couple of tops and a couple of dresses out of this one that are on pretty high rotation for me in the summer. They feel really nice to wear. There is your stretch. Oops. Vertical as well. And drape. It's really pretty. Now, I couldn't find a thread to match this one either, I'm afraid. But I do have some coordinating fabrics. So dark musk, double brush poly. Looks really nice with those flowers. And what else have we got? The olive ghost crepe those leaves there and pistachio cotton spandex for the background color red wine viscose for those darker bits in those flowers and a viridian modal all right will i ever rib knit so soft. I have another rib knit for you today. This one has been out in a sub box, so it's not a full roll. This one is called Coral Mist. That is a pinky colour that's there. I know it's looking a little bit browny, I think, on the screen, but it is a pink. Let me show you up close. It's looking even more brown up close, I think. You can see those ribs. Uh, it is definitely a pinky colour. It's a little bit better when I come back, a little bit more like it actually is. So again, that great stretch both ways. And there's your drape. Okay, now I have two choices of thread for this one, making up for the other ones. So you can either go with, not that one, 1000 or 1650. Either will work. Okay, so this one <clears throat> goes with Dark Musk Double Brush Poly. So that gives you a bit of an idea. This is actually very similar to this colour here. Um, 
even when I come close it still doesn't quite look as pink as it actually is but it is quite similar to this color that's dark musk double brush poly what else have I got for you dusty rose double brush poly for those lighter sections and <clears throat> sand double brush poly and ivory viscose there we go is that the last one yes it is all right coral mist rib knit some wovens I love wearing wovens. I don't really love sewing a woven. I really feel like um, sewing's got two camps, doesn't it? The woven camp and then the knit camp. And those who sew woven are scared to sew knit, and those who sew knit are scared to sew woven. To me, woven is just a lot of work. There's, you know, there's more work to be done with a woven. You know, there's a whole lot of ironing, and you're going to need some sort of closure at some point. And yeah, anyway. It's worth it when I pull my finger out and put the effort in. This one is called Marley. It's a rayon shelly. And rayon shelly is just another way of saying 100% rayon. It's got this really cute little print. Nice navy background. I can't show you the stretch because there isn't any, but I can show you the gorgeous drape. And the beautiful feel of this fabric when you're wearing it. It's really lovely, especially on a hot day. It's nice for, <clears throat> excuse me, for dresses. You can make a nice pair of summer pants out of it and not be too hot. A skirt or culottes or shorts, anything, all sorts that you can do. I put this one with 3561 and it went with the navy ponty and the off-white 220 GSM rib knit. Okay, so that is Marley Rayon Shelley. Oh, I'm losing track of my piles. All right, one more woven for you. This one is Ghost Crepe. And this is a polyester fabric, but it is so popular. I think because it drapes so beautifully. It's actually 96% poly, 4% spandex. But it is a woven. It does have some great um, bias stretch there. Um, but it doesn't have any horizontal or vertical stretch. Beautiful drape. Sits really nicely um, when sewn up into a garment. It's really, yeah, it's people who have tried Ghost Crepe and sewed it up are always looking for new prints of it because they do really like it. Uh, it, it is crepey, um, so it's certainly not a soft fabric. You can feel that crepe. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you there's quite a bit of print going on there. I think it's a bit hard to pick up that crepe, isn't it? But it does have a crepey texture. This one is called Hot Pink Leopard. Let's put that on. And I put it with thread 1630 because it goes quite nicely with that background colour there. And Bright Pink Liverpool is an option with this one. And I keep going the wrong way. Uh, light Brown. Double brush poly is another really nice option. Tan linen look. It's really nice. Neon pink double brush poly. Love this one. And tan oversized waffle if you still need a cardi or a jumper. Oh, this is not a slinky fabric, but got a lot of movement in it it doesn't want to keep still there we go see it just drapes really nicely there we go tan oversized waffle all right this is hot pink leopard ghost crepe now i have a couple of dty's for you last week we did a dty solid release so this week i've got a couple of prints um, these DTYs feel quite a little, quite a bit slinkier than the ones last week, which is really nice. It's quite cool to the touch and really nice for summer. Now, this one is called Candy Crush, and there's a lot going on, but there are some really beautiful colours. It's a pretty print. This is one of those great ones where. Um, you know, perhaps you made yourself a pair of pants or something out of it, and then you could get three or four different coloured tops 
to go with it. You know, you can make those tops and you've got a few different outfits. So it's got some quite firm horizontal stretch. There's your vertical uh, stretch and your gorgeous drape. It just falls down. It's lovely. Okay, I do have a thread for this one. 2002 is what I put this one with. And I have a few coordinates. Now, the first one we actually don't have a photo of because it didn't turn out our photo, which we didn't realise until a bit late. But this is the Aqua Green Rayon Shelly. So if you're wanting a uh, woven to put this with, then this is your winner, Aqua Green Rayon Shelly. But we do have some other great colours here. So Berry Crush. This is a modal. Yes and hunter green viscose those darker greens in there teal rayon modal it's a nice match or you could go teal viscose a much darker teal and we have bright berry ghost crepe the last one for this one yes it is the bright berry bright berry bright berry ghost crepe okay that's candy crush dty now the next dty is called aroha and i love the colors in this they're really earthy this feels soft yet slinky it's a beautiful fabric Look at that print really nice earthy colors in there again it's got its horizontal stretch, its vertical stretch, and then that really nice drape to it. Great for most garments because its recovery on stretch is really great, so it's not going to get bigger on you during the day. Okay, so we put this one with thread number 4000, of course, and we matched it up with the Amber Double Brush Poly. I do love those ones together. And khaki micro suede and fawn viscose and fennel green marl ponty. Is that the last one? No, two more. Olive grey 220 GSM rib knit. Nothing wants to stay on me today. And spice. Double brush poly. All right. Aroha DTY. Now we have some double brush polys to show you. This next one is amazing. I absolutely love it. And I'm a bit devastated that they're really not colours I can get away with wearing. I really wanted to make something out of this. I just couldn't work out how to pull it off well. This is called the maze. And it's amazing. How cute is that? I love it. It's so soft. Double brush poly is just like DTY, but it's been brushed on both sides. So it's got this incredible softness to it. Um, it has really, really great stretch. It has really great recovery on that stretch. So you can do a fitted garment. You can do a long drapey garment. There's heaps that you can do. The drape is gorgeous. Okay. Let me show you all the amazing colours that go with this one. First of all, the thread is number 1000. And then we went with Banana Double Brush Poly. And Bright Bubble Gum Honeycomb. And Chambray Honeycomb. Not Honeycomb, Double Brush Poly. I'm not sure why that one's in there, to be honest. I'm not really... I know that that matches very well. Uh, let's see, what else did we put in there? Off-white modal, let me find that one. Put this down here, there we go. Off-white modal with that. And oh, I think I've missed some more. I'm not doing very well with getting all the color cards in here. I have, I've missed a heap, I've missed sky blue. And I've missed Strawberry Shortcake and Sweet Pink Liverpool and Yellow Rayon Modal. I've missed a heap. I'm sorry. I didn't bring those cards in here with me. 
all of those fabrics are photographed with this fabric and actually it looks a whole lot better than what I show you in here. Um, we put the fabric nicely on the mannequin and then we drape the coordinate over. So all of those photos are on the website. I'm sorry, I don't have them in here to show you properly. I went through this twice. Not very well either time, it seems. Uh, that is the maze and it's gorgeous. The next one I am actually wearing. This is called Eventually in Denim. I have made myself a sage dress by Made for Mermaids and I can't really show you all of it because it does go down to my ankles. I did put a, po a photo up yesterday, so you might have seen that one. I've got um, white bamboo down the bottom. So I've got the navy um, 220 GSM modal um, rib knit, sorry, at the top here on the bodice. I did my little v-neck, which isn't much of a v-neck. It's quite a round v-neck, isn't it? And then the eventually in denim, double brush poly, and then the um white bamboo down the bottom it's a really nice dress for summer i've got a couple of these now so i'm not going to open this up because it's actually half a piece and that's a bit embarrassing but just so i can show you that print properly isn't that absolutely stunning so they are navy blue flowers some white or ivory in there and this gorgeous denim color so oh excuse me uh do i have a thread yes i do three nine two it's a thread that I put with this one. And then we did the chambray with that one. Not quite the same blue. And uh, the charcoal cable knit sweater, which while there isn't any charcoal in there, it actually does look really quite good with it because this is a, every time I look at this from a distance, I do think it's a charcoal color. It seems like that from a distance. Uh, blue, a denim blue, sorry, oversized waffle is cute with that. The uh, denim faux cashmere is really cute with it. And white Liverpool. Eventually in denim. It's really, really pretty. It's a really sweet little print. Okay, that takes us to our Lush Sunday special for today, which is a double brush poly. It is an incredibly soft double brush poly. It is called Multicolored Tie-Dye Circles. It's really, really gorgeous. Lots of colors in it again. So soft to touch. It's quite a big print. So while you might still have to take some care in your pattern placement, it's not really, really awful um you know obviously some care you probably don't want a big circle like that right on a breast um but otherwise you should be okay all right so amazing stretch of course because it's double brush poly very very stretchy one and vertical as well and there's your drape all right let's have a look at the coordinates I have put this with, which one did I put this with? Oh, I think it's this one here. It's this really pale pink, which I thought was really nice for the background color. Um, which has got just that little bit of pink on there. You could probably just go with an ivory as well. You might just have something at home that works. And there's a lot of colors in here. So you could also just choose one of those. Okay, so we put this with the smoky pink viscose and camel double brush poly. And oh, dark musk. Let me find that one. There it is. Dark musk double brush poly. And I've got another one in that pile. Excuse me while I dive in and try and find it. Here it is, right down the bottom. The denim viscose. Oh, stress myself again. There we go, denim viscose. And what's next? Heavenly pink, double brush poly. And light charcoal, double brush poly. Lots to go with this one. Teal green. 
double brush poly again and then one more from in here that one The Viridian modal. Oh, I can't seem to dress myself right today. There we go. There, Viridian modal. Got there eventually. Okay, so this is your Lush Sunday special for today, which means it's a little bit cheaper than the other fabrics just for today, just for its release day, um, Sunday the 25th. So um, if you haven't tried Lush before, if you haven't tried Double Brush Poly before, it's a good opportunity for you um okay so we have um our competitions our facebook and on our youtube channel so just enter those to go into the draw for a 25 dollars lush gift card um, we have monthly postal service and we're just about getting to the end of the month now so the end of this week we'll be sending all the orders that we're holding for you for september out to you so if there is something else you want get it in this week so that we can send it out to you uh, all of these fabrics are now available on our website, which is www.lushfabrics.com.au. And I'll be back next week with some more goodies for you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.